I wanted to intervene and ask you to, to say a little bit more about subsidiarity, which is part of Catholic social teaching, which is very contested in the United States right now, because one point of view, and I suspect you might disagree with this, so I'll set it out as starkly as I can, is that subsidiarity, meaning the notion that decisions should be made at the lowest possible level, really is an encouragement to a society where families and neighborhoods, their economic and social exchanges come first, and the state should really be in the background uh, to let that freedom develop at the level of, of civil society. And therefore, we need to move away from the welfare state as we know it. How do you respond to someone who invokes that notion of subsidiarity in a way which is, uh, I think, very American, perhaps, and more foreign to the European context? Well, we must see the principles of the social doctrine together. No? Mm -hmm. Subsidiarity, solidarity, cannot say that the only principle is subsidiarity. Mm -hmm. The other one is solidarity. And the state is not a bad thing. We are Aristotle, uh, Aristotle dis disciples in the Catholic Church. We are critics of the state. We have our experience in Germany and Europe with the state who was against the church. So is a little bit of distance, but not unfriendly. We are together. And the state is uh, like uh, in the, in the, in the, in the uh, uh, tradition of the social doctrine, a natural institution without the state. The concept of state differs. But without the state, the, the, the man cannot come to the, to the full possible life. It's not, the family is a natural institution. Without family, it's not possible to, to become a, a developed a, a, a man. But the state too. So you have the, the two points. You well, cannot imagine the common good, the common good, only with the assembly of families. That's not possible. So subsidiarity means when you have a problem to solve, when you have responsibilities, you will first look on the on the on the plane on on the on the level of the families, the associations. In Germany, I will give you Germany with the great welfare state in the, in, the, in, the, in the eyes of the Americans. But we have the great tradition of subsidiarity. I give you an example in, 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 our, in, our, in our society. When, uh, when the kindergarten is, will be founded, then the discussion will be who can make it? Who can make it? Not the state, no. We will see. Then first, they will ask the church in Bavaria, can you organize the kindergarten? We say, yes, we'll do it. Then the state will give us 90% of the finance. And uh, then we can rule the kindergarten. When it's not possible, perhaps another association, socialistic movement, perhaps pluralism in Germany, you can decide. But when it's not possible, the state will say, the, co the, the, the city will make it, and so on. That's subsidiarity. That's subsidiarity. Subsidiarity means not we are against the state, but the state is not the ruler of all. The family is responsible, the communities, and so on. There's a, there's a, 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 com a communion, communion of different responsibilities. But solidarity is also necessary. And in the, in, in the society, when we have a society and a state with many risks and, and so on, the, the risks of Arbeitslosigkeit, so. unemployment, for example, you can say, that's your own risk. That's not my risk, it's your risk. But that's not true. That's a risk which is founded in the system. You cannot have a market economy without the risk of an un unemployment. And the people here and in Germany, they cannot decide to live in a society without market economy. They live here. So you can say that's your risk, but it's not your risk alone. That's our common risk. So we decided 100 years ago in Germany with a Catholic priest as minister of labor, Catholic priest in the 20s, to have a assurance, assurance and the the, 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 the uh, patrons pay the workers 
have to pay. So both they pay in an assurance to, to, to burden this risk, because this is, is, is essential in a market economy. And I think uh, we, must, we must rethink the social state in a complex society with different risks, but to say the state, when you get out the state, that's it's, uh, always it's good to get out the state of everything. That's not the position of subsidiarity, I think, in our tradition.